this um, hessian sack here is to stop the coddling moth and what happens is that the, the um, larvae comes down here and gets caught up in this hessian sack believe it or not um, and then what you need to do um, in November time roundabout is to remove it and burn it do not reuse it don't think I'll boil it up or something like that and then reuse it next year because it's just gonna ruin the the, um, the fibers anyway and it might not catch any so um, just get some more um, hessian sack best place to do it is um, uh, when you when the onion set season is finished the hessian sacks that they come in um, often get rid of the, the onions and the um, sack for maybe like 15 to 50p from a home base or somewhere so you can do that um, the other thing as well if um, you know if it's not November yet but you think well I want to make sure I'll get them um, before November you can always spray it with some organic um, pesticides um, just to stop the actual coddling them off you can also spray the leaves of the apple tree or pear trees um, with um, with uh, garlic spray so just uh, garlic infused water and spray that um, another thing you can do as well at the base when you're moving the actual hessian sack put a bit of cloth um, infused with um, uh, organic uh, pesticides on it so just in case when you're moving this the actual larvae falls down you don't want it falling down into the earth um, you want to make sure you got it so just, just wrap around a cloth like that so it's either going to get trapped in here um, or trapped on the uh, cloth as well which you can um, dispose of easier because uh, you don't want to be looking for them uh, in the soil you know um, life's too short for that so hopefully this is a really useful video I'm going to put some more information underneath um, but it's not just pears and apples um, where you can get coddling off there are other fruit trees um, that do get it, um, get it. and sometimes um, some obscure trees get it as well if there's no if there was a previously apple tree in the area and then one there wasn't that they could actually go to um, um, an actual fruit tree which you wouldn't really associate the coddling moth with as much um, so just be aware of that alright take care and bye